In Chief Architect, we have a tool that allows us to control where framing members for our floors, walls, or roof planes begin generating. This tool is called the Framing Reference Marker. To start, let's take a look at floor and wall framing. Let's first make sure we're in a view where we can see our framing, like the framing floor plan view. Now, let's go to the Build menu, Framing, and click Build Framing. Check the boxes for floors, ceilings, and walls, and click OK. When no framing marker has been placed in your plan, the floor and wall framing start generating from the origin of the plan. We can see this by toggling on the coordinate system indicator for the origin. Go to the view menu and click to turn it on. Now we'll see a small indicator appear showing us where the origin of the plan is and using our crosshairs by toggling them on in the view menu. We can see that the wall studs and floor framing align to the origin. Walls have a setting that's enabled by default that causes this behavior. For example, if we select a wall and click Open Object, and then go to the Structure panel, we'll see a setting called Use Framing Reference. With this checked and no framing reference in the plan, the origin is what will be used as the reference. Unchecking this causes the wall framing to generate based on its parent object, being the wall itself. If we uncheck it and click OK, we can see the stud start at the corner and begin the on-center spacing from there. Let's go ahead and check this option back on. Let's place a reference marker. Go to the Build menu, Framing, and click Framing Reference Marker. If we zoom in close, we can snap it to the outside framing layer of the wall. After left-clicking, we'll see the wall framing update to now originate starting from this framing reference marker. Framing reference markers can be placed on a per-floor basis. If we only place a single framing reference marker, all other framing set to follow a marker will follow the one we placed. But if we go up to the second floor and place a framing reference marker in a different position, we can see that the wall studs are now in different positions. In either case, if we measure from the marker to the next generated stud in the wall, we can see it's exactly our on-center distance specified in the framing defaults. If we click on the framing reference marker, and click Open Object, we can view some of its settings. The marker must stay set to Framing Reference in order for it to function properly. If it's switched, it will no longer act as a reference for your framing. In the Line Style panel, we can change its layer, color, line style, and in the Text Style panel, we can change its text settings. Back in the Marker panel, we can add text to the marker, if needed. For example, we can type FR for Framing Reference and click OK. We can move and modify it in plan just like any other type of marker. So if we select the marker, we can use this Edit handle to reposition the text we've written. If we want the text to remain upright, we'll need to reopen the specification and check the box for Auto Adjust Text Direction. Now if we move the text from the right to left side, it will remain upright. Let's now build the roof framing. To do so, let's switch to the second floor and switch to our framing ceiling plan view. Then go to Build, Framing, and Build Framing. First, check the box for roofs to generate our roof framing. Then, 
click on Framing Defaults. In the Foundation panel, and the panels for our other floors, check Use Framing Reference so our floor and ceiling framing follow our reference marker. Do the same for the roof panel. Click OK, then OK. Let's also click No on the windows that appear, asking us to show different layers, so we can keep this plan view specifically for the ceiling framing. Let's also turn on the roof framing layer. we'll see that it's sitting plumb on top of our wall studs, just like the ceiling framing. If we want the ceiling framing to sit offset from the roof rafters, we can move the framing reference. First, let's turn off Auto Rebuild Framing. Back in the Build Framing menu, uncheck the Automatically Rebuild Framing for Floors, Ceilings, Walls, and Roofs, and click OK. Then, back on our first floor, select the Framing Reference Marker, and click Transform Replicate on the Edit Toolbar. Since the ceiling joists are currently in line with the rafters, we'll tell the marker to move right by exactly their width, 1.5 inches. Check the Move box, and put 1.5 in the X Delta. Click OK, and then back in Build Framing, check Ceilings under Build Framing Once so it doesn't continually auto-rebuild. This concludes our video on using Framing Reference Markers.